is this thing called radius. So radius is kind of a, uh, uh, a misnomer, if you will. It stands for remote access dial-in user service. And a lot of people think that the words dial-in here uh, uh, mean that, hey, we're using the 56K modem to, uh, to have this uh, authentication mechanism. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's when it was invented. But, um, you know, the, really what we're doing here is we're enabling people to remotely access a, si a system through being able to, quote, unquote, dialing in from a remote location. So when a radius server communicates with an internet service provider, usually it is to allow some sort of access to a remote user. Um, when that particular access is given, it's through a centralized server. So when we talk about this, and specifically talking about how um, this, this works, um, we talked the other day a, a little bit, and, and there was a request to talk about this again today. Uh, but essentially, we, we talked about it from the context of our cell phone providers, remember? And when we go in and actually you know, talk about, let me just draw my little, uh, my little wireless access point here. Okay, so I got my little wireless access point, and... Um, I'm going to do a little, little shaping going on here. Just bear with me a second, guys, while I create the awesomeness. So in my little uh, wireless access point here that I have, you like that? Is that pretty cool? See, I'm, I mean, it, I just don't ever cease to amaze people. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, group these all together, and then uh, we should have a magical, uh, oops, standby. All right, so with each one of these, what we should be able to do is create our little radius network here. For some reason, my little ball didn't uh, get copied here. No, I didn't, okay. All right, so what we're, what we're doing here is we're just creating our little radius network, and this radius network allows us to be able to roam or rem re remotely dial in um, as we traverse the network. So as we're going through the, uh, you know, the heartland of the country, you're using some sort of cell phone provider, uh, but this also could be at any metropolitan area network. It could be at a uh, university or a, a college, a campus area network uh, that we go through and actually allow the person to sign in to a single uh, radius server and then be able to uh, uh, propagate the, uh, the authentication throughout the network. And that can be a, a large network um, or whatever. So. For our purposes here, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a little, uh, let's just draw a little device here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll make the device uh, like that. And so the device is um, wanting to be able to have access to the network. In our particular case, let's just call this Verizon, the Verizon network. So what do we do? As our device here is in our car let's say, and we're moving across the network like this right here, we go from one point to another, then we authenticate once to the uh, network, and based off of the authentication, so let me just draw this here, this is the closest node to us, so we will go through and as a client, we're going to go through and request access to the network, 
and then the network comes back and says, hey, you know what? This person paid their bill, so we're going to go ahead and grant you access. And then now it's kind of like the Kerberos thing that we talked about before. We can now have access to the, the connection because we've been authenticated against a, uh, a server. So we can manage these uh, radius servers centrally, and then each one of these servers or access points allow us access to the network and can verify with the radius server uh, incoming calls or data plan, and we can check whether or not somebody's authorized in large area networks. Uh, so where would this become a problem here when if you have just one server in each one of these where would this be a problem how how would you get overflowed let's say that you got i don't know 100 million users right and simultaneously these 100 million users are wanting to come and try to uh, authenticate well you either need to build out your infrastructure a little bit better to have a cluster like we talked about before um, of radius servers to authenticate, or you need to uh, queue them up and uh, have kind of like what we talked about the other day as well, the first in, first out approach, which is unacceptable if you're paying for that service. So a lot of times with radius, what we see is that there'll be many or multiple radius servers that will be available to um, users, and they'll be a part of a cluster that based off of your uh, in, in the case of a cell phone, based off of your geo positioning or geolocation as you traverse through the network, you will stay authenticated based off of your initialization authentication request. And then as you go through to the closest cell tower, you take that token with you. So if you have one, one server, 